Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I store my essential oils, where I store them, how I keep them organized, tidy, and the organization system that I've come up with that I think just works absolutely wonderful. Absolute best part is that these organizers that I use for my essential oils will not break the bank. They cost a whole whopping $1.25 Canadian each from the Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and without anything further, let's get this video started. So all my essential oils are stored away in this cupboard right here. And this is just part of my kitchen cupboard cabinet area. Really where you wanna store your essential oils is in a dark, cool place. Okay, so this is basically the setup that I work with. Um, all of these little acrylic plastic containers that I store my essential oils in it came from Dollar Tree. They're just fantastic for storing your essential oils in. They fit in perfectly and they tear up. So I have labels on the top of all my essential oils. I can see them easily. I know where everything is. I can group them together. I kind of have like a method to my essential oils, at least in my mind I do. So I have a couple different types of these acrylic containers. This one has 12 compartments, three, six, nine, 12. And then the top row up here is completely open. So there's no sections on the top row, which is fine, it still works. I prefer the ones that are um, sectioned all the way up because this is just kind of a little bit loose and it won't fit um, a fourth bottle. Now it will fit like a roller ball bottle to make it fit nice and tight. But I mean, it just depends what you're working with and how picky you are. It still works. The other type that I have, which I prefer, um, I wish I could have got all this kind, but my Dollar Tree just didn't have them at the time. They've never gotten them back in. So this one tears up four, eight, 12, 16 individual sections. So as you can see here, see what I'm talking about? Like there's an actual section for each of these essential oils to sit in. And this is ideal in my opinion. But like I said, the other ones do work. So that's how I keep everything organized, essential oil wise. And the tiers with these organizers are just the perfect height to allow you to really get in there and see all your essential oils and what you have and what you're working with. Now moving on towards the front of the drawer, I have two of these containers here and they are just sectioned into four. And what I, I like these for is they fit the bigger um, essential oils like my benzoin resinoid, which is a natural preservative. And then I just have a couple of these empty um, extra containers if I want to make up my own Synergy blend or something like that. Now, this one here right now is empty. And what I use this for, I keep it right at the front here, is when I'm almost, just say I'm out of, okay, I've used up my Joy from Eden's Garden. Love, love, love this blend, by the way. It is so good and I love and adore Eden's Garden essential oils. So I've used that up. I move everything that I've used up to the front container, which I keep here, as I said. So when I've used up essential oils, say I used up my grapefruit, it goes to the front, used up my lime, goes to the front. Then when I make my list for my next order of essential oils, I know everything in this container at the front I'm out of, I need to reorder. So it's just a system I've come up with. It works really, really well for me. The only other thing that I keep in here is my ultrasonic essential oil diffuser. It's always in towards the front. Of I just really like this system. These trays and organizers from the Dollar Tree are like the perfect, honestly, the perfect organization um, system, a way to keep your essential oils tidy and intact, organized, and it's very low cost and inexpensive to do this. Like each of these trays were a dollar twenty-five because I'm talking Dollar Tree Canada. I've had my drawer organized like this for almost a year now and I'm just thrilled with it. I, I would highly recommend trying this organization system out for your essential oils 
if you're struggling with finding a way to keep them organized. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap today's essential oil video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like a more thorough essential oil video where I go through each individual oil that I have and we can sniff them, talk about them, you know, whatever, leave me comments down below. Let me know that that's something you'd be interested in. I have two orders on the way, one from Eden's Garden and one from the other company that I order from all the time. If you guys would be interested in me showing you unboxings um, of each of the essential oils that I purchased from those companies, let me know that as well if you'd like to see unboxings and I would be more than willing to record those for you guys. I'm gonna end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing with you how I store my essential oils. If you did, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. It really helps me out. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more essential oil videos, you enjoy clean living, natural products, and lush products, then go ahead and hit subscribe so you can join me for more videos in the future. Thanks for hanging out today, guys, and I'll see you all next time.